Salt. Can you walk me through what happened here? Not now. I'd rather do preliminary lab work first and also analyze the evidence you picked up. I'll give you a briefing when I finish a few tests. Okay. I think you can remove the cloth from her face now. Aw, oh, you spoil me. Oh my god, look at the tattoo work on her skin. This girl liked pain. I have a feeling she's a pro. I don't know why. Just call it a hunch. Which would be a first according to the killer's MO and profile. I'll run the victim's name through the database to see if we hit something. What's her name? According to the ID in her purse, it's Cynthia Woods. Now can you take her picture without the rag on her face? Do you still need me here? Not really. I just enjoy the company. But I can see you'd rather be somewhere else. Listen, I can handle things here on my own till the boys get here. Anyhow, you look tired as hell. Oh, thanks for letting me off the hook. But seriously, if you need me, I'll stay. It's fine, sweetie, really. You're not completely off the hook. I'll see you back at the morgue for my briefing. I wouldn't miss it for the world. See you soon. Did you really threaten to tie Miller to my 4x4 and... Yes, I did. And I will, too. Hey, I don't doubt it. Did you really threaten to tie Miller to my 4x4 and... Yes, I did. And I will, too. Hey, I don't doubt it. Looks like faint traces of a blood trail. Looks like faint traces of a blood trail. I don't need to take another sample. Let's go, Miller. Okay, where to? The office. There's no way I'm going down that way. I'm going to have to look for another way out of here. Okay, I'll wait here in case Claire decides to go down or someone tries to come up.
I absolutely love what they've done here. The view is just super. Good idea. All I need now is something to pry these boards off. Looks like I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Man, that's smart. Miller, are you okay? <laughs> Do you think he's okay? Yeah. <laughs> he's fine. I have a message. Hello, Victoria. <clears throat> this is Todd. I heard about the fifth murder. I expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? Why did you take so long getting here? You're the only one with a 4x4. Four four. Christ, I don't even want to go there. I mean, what is it with these idiots who buy 20 lottery tickets anyway? I mean, do they really have to waste everyone's time? God, they piss me off. I just wanted a pack of gum, too. Hey, last time I saw you, you were limping to your car. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my ego. It got hurt more than me, I think. Oh, I almost forgot. Is everything okay with your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Forget about it. She knows now it's a big misunderstanding. But just don't answer my cell phone again, please. I promise.
So what are you up to? I started the report. I figured you were too pooped to do it. You know, Miller, you do have your moments. Anything I can do to help with the report? Actually, yes. I need Claire's preliminary report to help me out. I'm not going down there. She might lock me up in one of the drawers and leave me there. Also, I need the pictures you took, so could you please drop the camera in the evidence chute in the hallway? Well, okay, see you later. Hey, thanks a lot for doing the report. My pleasure, Agent Mc... <clears throat> I mean, uh, Victoria. It's the evidence shoot. Agent McPherson. Officer Tate? Agent Ashby wants to see you. She's waiting for you at the morgue. All right. So, how did you guys get the body down? Me and some of the forensic guys set up a ladder where the stairs fell. Oh, well, I hope no one got hurt. Nope, I know what y'all mean, though. That place was as stable as lemmings near a cliff. That's weird. My access code doesn't work. Hey Claire, get that preliminary lab work done? As a matter of fact, I'm not quite finished. However, I have enough to brief you on if you have the time. For you, always. Okay, here goes. The victim's blood revealed high levels of alcohol. Also, I found traces of rohypnol, which is also known as the date rape drug. This explains why there was no apparent struggle throughout the assault. The assault started in the first room where she was beaten. She probably fell when you found the spot of blood. She was then carried into the next room. The 
killer ripped off her clothes and beat her again. She definitely was unconscious at this point. He let her bleed on the floor until he had enough blood to write the messages you found using the luminol. The killer then cleaned off the messages. Obviously, he knew we would find them. He then dragged the victim by her hair along the hallway and stopped to hang up his coat. He finally brought her into the bathroom. The cause of death was drowning. He forced her head under the water until death ensued. Like the other victims, she was killed before the mutilations. She was stabbed nine times and then eviscerated from the lower sternum to the lower abdomen. What are you thinking? I'm thinking these mutilations will get worse. It wasn't part of his MO for the first three victims. They were found beaten and drowned, not like this. Do you think he'll change his MO in the near future? No, I don't think so. Drowning his victims seems to be his focus. That stage in the assault is very important to him. No, the stabbing business is from something else. I have a feeling that if we knew what it was, we would catch the son of a bitch. Also, he covered the face of the fourth victim and now this one. This strongly suggests that he knew the last two victims. I'll ask Miller to correlate the last two victims' info. I've been meaning to ask you. Did you call her? Call? Oh, no, I didn't. I just don't have the courage. Can we not talk about this now? Sure but promise me that you will call her. Okay, okay, I promise. How about you? Did you come up with anything interesting? Yes, I got a partial that doesn't belong to the victim. Very nice. Did you compare it to the partial you found from the fourth crime scene? No, not yet, but I'll let you know if I can compare them. After all, they are only partials. What about the stuff I found? Anything worth mentioning? We know that our killer has black hair, if it was he that hung his coat on the nail. It might have been a junkie for all we know, but it doesn't matter. We can use the hair for DNA comparison and place him at the scene of the crime. I sent the fibers to the FBI labs to see if they can find anything unusual or unique about them. Okay, sweetie. I'm out of here. Don't forget my beautifully handwritten report. It's on the table. <laughs>